We've already turned it on? Okay, we'll be fine. Everyone else is ready, Jude? Alex, go ahead. Diligently striving every day for a better life for myself. There have always been two people that have always had my back. That, of course, would be my mom and dad. Through all their highs and lows, achievements and failures, they have stuck by my side. Up until this past summer, they have that they have done so um, with the usual parental concerns and criticism. But now the tables have turned. My mom now has Alzheimer's and my father's in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. Now it's up to me to make sure that they're fed and bills are paid. Um, of the many reasons that I love and admire them, these three that stick out in my mind the most are, despite their odds stacked up against them, they never give up hope for the future, their unconditional love that they give to me, and their willingness to help others despite their needs. Number one, even after my dad initially broke his head, he's always had the look in his eye like, I'm going to get up and walk again. I'm going to do it. He's 76 years old, and and it's really hard to see him when I go and visit them and see them in a wheelchair and realize that this could be it. But he always has hope, which gives me a lot more strength in dealing with everything. And with my mom, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes it's like she's there, but she isn't. She tells the same story five or six times in a row. And she does the same actions and living and just visiting with her. It's kind of kind of hazardous, I guess you would say. Just making sure that she doesn't fall or anything. Number two, their unconditional love that they give to me with all their support. With all my goals that I want that may or may not be unattainable. They've always had a smile on their face and a nod and always agreeing with me and never giving up that I will achieve my goal someday and becoming a parent and hopefully owning my own construction company. Number three, their willingness to help others despite their own needs. Um, when I was 15, they adopted me and I really haven't ever had a solid family structure, I guess you would say. And I got a call from DSHS and my social worker, and they told me that they had a family that would be willing to help me out and give me a home. So when that happens, I was really happy when I finally got there. You know, they were there with open arms despite all my problems or what happened to me in the past. It's really led me to try to live that way in my own life and to just apply it in every way possible. They have been uh, youth pastors at their church for 30 years and they lived until they come in the 50s. And my parents have always been there for me and I am glad that I now have the opportunity to give back to them or despite their odds and stacked against them, they never give a vote, their unconditional love for me, and their willingness to help others despite their own needs.